What's up guys, Mr. Watermelon here, and today I'm bringing you another Throwback Thursday review. This is going to be for November 2014. And what we got today, guys, is the 2010 Emperor Palpatine Shuttle. The set was number 8096, contained 592 pieces, and retailed for 60 US dollars. Right off the bat, this was a really good set when it came out. It had a few really cool minifigures and just a really cool vehicle just to add to your Star Wars collection. It's very iconic from Episode 3, where we see the shuttle come in and then, um, and then Palpatine pick up Darth Vader. So, basically, this was, a, this was a really cool set. I'm really glad I got it. And the main reason that we get that you would want to get this set going straight into the minifigures is for the exclusive Darth Vader minifigure. Now, it comes with the Darth Vader helmet for reasons later. There's a transformation table inside, but I'm going to remove the helmet because it doesn't really make much sense. To show you, burnt Darth Vader. This is a really, really cool minifigure. No leg printing, but it doesn't really matter. That Darth Vader face that is just where he's going, oh, I hate you, to Obi-Wan. The two different color arms, one is obviously robotic and one is flesh. Technically, he should really have no legs and no arm. I'm not going to tear the arm off because I like this figure too much. But it's perfectly fine. Still a wonderful figure. He's even got back print. This was one of the first uh, lines to 2010 that came out with back print on other figures. And just the detail on that. Let's see if I can focus it any more. The detail on the back is just really, really cool. Especially that burnt flesh. Oh, it's, this is this is just a really cool minifigure. This was the reason to get this set, and I can't see unless they remake the set in a few years. I can't see the reason why this minifigure, who I just dropped, <laughs> I can't see why this minifigure would come out in, an, in, a, in another set. Which is why I was very happy to get it when I did get it. So, and he also comes with a red lightsaber because he's a Sith. Speaking of Sith, the big bad boy himself, the Emperor. What's Emperor Palpatine Shuttle without the Emperor? This is not an exclusive minifigure. I'm pretty sure this is the same one that came in the Death Star. Does he have back printing? No. But he's still got that awesome uh, Emperor torso print. And the Emperor head. With those Sith eyes that are really just so cool. And he comes with a red lightsaber as well. And a black cape. So that was the Emperor. Now we have a clone pilot, which is another another cool minifigure. I'm saying awesome so much. But he's got the new pilot. The, 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 it was new, and now it's still being used. The new pilot, Phase 2 pilot um, helmet mold with the Republic insignia. And I just don't get this white face. It's sort of strange. It doesn't matter. You can swap it out with the clone head, which is exactly what I do for uh, my mocks and stuff. And he's got the back print and the torso. And yeah, that's the clone pilot. And now we have a medical droid, because <clears throat> what? who would Darth Vader be without, you know, his medical droids helping him, without his suit and whatnot. So, a cool minifig that is very iconic to Star Wars, even though it doesn't really play bit much big of a role. You see him a lot in all of, of course, the medical things. He has one uh, of these type of arms, and he has one arm like this. So, there you go. That is that minifig. And we're going to clear these figures off to show you the ship itself. Now, the ship itself has a few really cool features that are... And it's pretty much just those features that are what make the set the set, pretty much. First of all, we're going to start right up in the cockpit, which is very neat how the sticker detail lines up with the pieces very perfectly right here. And this cockpit simply opens up just like that and closes. It has a, a dark green seat inside with a control panel and we can take our clone pilot friend and sit him right in there sit there you go and so we got the clone pilot in there now we're gonna go to the bottom first we have the landing gear down here which actually uses snot technique not not on its side but the studs are actually on the bottom so when the landing gear folds up just like this they look like skis which is really neat Landing gear folds up like that, and obviously the wings do fold down like this, so that you can fly it around, fly it away. You can make a landing sequence if you want by folding the wings up, taking the landing gear down, and then landing the ship. So that's awesome. 
this thing awesome so much. <laughs> but for now, and for now, we're gonna fold these wings like halfway down so I can show you the features going on around here. Going around to the back, we have nice engine details and this gun that can rotate pretty much wherever you want it to. And we have some turrets up front that don't do anything, thankfully. No flick fire missiles in this set. I'm very happy for. And so now, hold on one sec, let me lower the camera. I'm going to take the top off and show you the inside. Basically, we have this little flick up right here. It comes up like that. Same one on the other side. And there's one in the back. And the top just lifts off like that. And so now we have the interior. Which you can see right there. That's the entire interior, pretty much. You can see the two seats right here for uh, the two evil guys. <laughs> and the two lightsaber holders. I'm really liking the dark green seats they included in the set. It looks, it just looks cool. And now we have the Darth Vader transformation table, which doesn't work too, too well, but it's still pretty good. And I'm going to try and do this for you guys right here. More camera adjustment, please pardon. Alright, sorry about that. just want to get a good angle so I can try doing this transformation scene. So we can put the helmet... Um, how does this go again? Right. We have Darth Vader sitting right here on this, ta on this chair table that folds up so you can create the iconic scene. And we put the helmet right into this, these two little rubber pieces which hold it in. You can see the rubber pieces there and there. And actually I'm going to put it in a little looser so that it actually works. And these levers back here, put the helmet on. You see it's, a, it's very difficult because the table is so easily to put it up. And now if you want to see... It works. I've done it before. It's just hard to do. But we're going to do this for time saving. And now we're going to push him up and create the iconic... Uh, or flip up real quick. And so then he can be all like, Lord Vader, do you hear me? Yes, Master. And then he can do his big no scene where the, where the droid blows up. Just kind of playing around a little bit. Great playability, even though the function doesn't work too well. It's still, it's still pretty good, I'd say. Not really a, a teen thing. It's more of a display for the older collectors. But, you know, still a really cool set with some awesome detailing. So now we're going to put the top piece back on. It sits down just simply like that. We put these little flap things back into its hole, and on the one in the back, we do the same thing. We're gonna, I'm going to push, push these levers in so it looks normal, so the ship looks normal. And then fold the ship back up, and there we go. That's pretty much the entirety of the set. So I'm going to cut real quick to readjust things because the camera's still weird. Alright, we're all good. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the, um, the box art, which I have on the instruction manuals here. It says the... This is pretty much the box art. There were two instruction manuals, by the way. You see the two right there. This had the Captain Rex box art from 2010, which was very, very neat. And uh, back in the instruction manual, typical stuff. Oh, we have, look, a shout-out to the Prince of Persia. And, um, some more of the sets, some more action going on there. The turbo Tank, which is a super cool set. And, uh, yeah, the Starfighter, Plo Koons. This was a good line. I really liked all these sets. And, uh, yeah. Then it pretty much just gives you an, out an outline of the functions. Let's see if you can see that transformation any better. Yeah. There's the helmet, and then put the helmet on, sort of. And yeah, landing your folding up, clone pilot going in, piece count, inventory. That's pretty much the entirety of the set, guys. So thank you guys very much for watching this Throwback Thursday review. Please remember to leave a like if you did enjoy the review. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of the set? Do you have it? Do you remember it? All that fun stuff in the comments down below. I'd love to see. I love replying to comments and all that stuff. And remember to go ahead and subscribe for more Throwback Thursday reviews. 
And then mocks, animations, hauls, analyses, all things LEGO Star Wars are right there on Watermelon Studios, so go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you guys very much for watching once again. This has been Mr. Watermelon. Peace out, guys.